Hi guys. Hey guys, we're here at Universal Studios. It's Brittany's birthday today, so <laughs> wish her a happy birthday in the comments below. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously this will go up after Brittany's birthday, but yeah, happy delayed birthday, you know? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. So yeah, we're here. This is actually kind of our first time at Universal. We came on Saturday to pick up our annual passes and we've been for Halloween Horror Nights before. But, yeah, and yeah. if you guys didn't know, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah. So my birthday is actually May 4th, and I know it's kind of obvious, right? I go to Hollywood Studios. It's one of my favorite parks at Disney World, but I am a much bigger Harry Potter fan. And now the House of Slytherin has a new member. Yes, it does. <laughs> Two new members. We're Two? both House of Slytherin. Yeah, we're both Slytherin. <laughs> so watch out. Yeah, watch out. Um, Thanks for watching, guys and join us along the way. I couldn't believe how fresh it was. So we got it late in the evening. The magic is in the hole. Um, I'm thinking they might mean something else as well. <laughs> Just so you know, Voodoo Donut also has a mobile pickup kiosk. Here we go, guys. Breakfast of champions. Woohoo! <laughs> Voodoo Donuts. Stop Get ready. Now we're hitting for Hagrid's. Yes, yes. I have to say guys, one thing I love about Universal is there isn't a virtual queue or anything, you know? Like, we got these donuts in like five minutes, you know? Yeah. We didn't have to sit in a virtual queue, none of that. So, I just I love that about Universal. About the, the cast members? Yeah, the cast members are amazing at Universal. I mean, I, I just have to be honest, they're, they're a lot more friendly than the ones at Disney these days. I, I just gotta yeah. call it like how it is. By far. By far. Great cast members here at Universal. Good job, Universal. Yeah. Good job. Woo! <laughs> So here is the little pink donut, guys. Um, I had this on Saturday. It was delicious. I will say I was very surprised to see that they did not use a manufactured cheap icing. It was actually blended bits of strawberry in the icing. So what you're getting is a true strawberry flavor. Um, it was very good. You can tell they use fresh strawberries for this icing. So today I got the ODB donut. On Saturday I tried the eight mile donut and that was really good. Probably the best donut I've ever had. So I'm curious how this is. That was a cake donut. This is a yeast donut. So let's see. Do you like it better than the eight mile? No, but I had to pick. I like the eight mile one a little bit more, but this is good. It seemed like it. It is. I like the chocolate peanut butter. So I love peanut butter. So yeah, I'm a fan. I would definitely get it again. I just think I like the eight mile one a little bit better. So guys, we are just chilling here. We're just having our donut. We're taking in the cool breeze from the water. Let me tell you, it is 90 degrees today and the sun is like blazing down. But something I noticed that I really, really appreciate about Universal. All right, so we're standing here. That's where the ferry boats are. And you're right in between Islands of Adventure. I'll see if I can get the sign for you guys. Just so you can see, right there, there's Islands of Adventure. And then over there, you see Universal Studios. In my opinion, that's a lot more convenient than the bus transportation system that they have currently at Disney. 
you go from being dropped off here, maybe a monorail, maybe a Skyliner. It's a mess. I feel like they're definitely building their parks a lot more cohesively, where they're a lot more enjoyable. And I gotta say, parking is an absolute breeze. You are parked in a parking garage structure right on property. You're not taking some weird transportation to the more popular park and becoming frustrated. Universal, this is coming in for a win. Hard W for this. Universal has a much different vibe than Disney. I really like it. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that skyline, guys. It looks so cool. Here's the bike over in the distance. the most of any other roller coaster in the world. Oh my god guys, I am so hyped. So this is our first time trying the frozen butter beer. We've had the cold butter beer before, but this is our first try time trying the frozen one. Yeah. yeah. So overall, I would say the frozen butter beer tastes exactly the same as the cold butter beer. It's just a little colder. So that's basically it. I would say for a hot day like today, I prefer the frozen. What about you? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, the frozen's so pretty good. It's so good. the house selection you see you have scarves you have headbands a blanket backpack mugs robes different sizes going all the way up to xl and then you also have a cardigan that has the house colors at the hemline for both the wrist as well as the waist very detailed and this will take you to 89.95 and also just so you know you can use your ap discount Rival, it's Hagrid as a doll. That's so cool. Baby unicorns, a hippogriff, and of course, Fang. <laughs> and 
now we're on our way to the Forbidden Journey. Yeah. I'm excited about this queue because for Potter fans like myself, it has always been a dream to walk through Hogwarts. There's Dumbledore. Oh my god, they have the Daily Prophet with a clip for Harry. It's so much of this queue to see. Cast a flying charm on the bitch of the power of flight. However, an enchanted bitch has a mind of its own. They can fly an infinite and unpredictable number of bands. Therefore, it's not recommended to those with Oh my god, the sorting hat! Wizard's chest. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. This is so cool. I just have to say guys, never in my wildest dreams did I think a park could do so much justice to this story. This is a very captivating tale and it's something that is very near and dear to my heart. I love Harry Potter and I just can't believe what an amazing job Universal has done in captivating the magic. And now I see Honeydukes. Where we got our butter beer earlier. Yep, and remember, it's the Zangle Pass for the biscuits because I forgot the other day. <laughs> yeah, we forgot the other day and it definitely helped this time. <laughs> Here's Honeydukes. Ready box, every flavor bean. And chocolate frogs. A collectible keepsake. Two chains, exploding bonbons, fizzy whiskeys, saltwater taffy. Joe knows all about that. Being from Jersey. <laughs> A chocolate cauldron. Back to London we go. Oh. <laughs> he does. Best coaster in the world. <laughs> so because the Hogwarts Express had a significant delay, yeah. we did get an express pass and we'll probably use this for green gods. Pretty cool of Universal. This always seems to happen on our birthdays. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Thanks to that hiccup with the Hogwarts Express, we are in the express lane. Yep. No pun intended.
was back. The Weasley's Wildfire whiz bangs. Firework from my brothers, Fred and George. Good Lewis, what are you doing here? This is my office, Lord Act. The question is, what are you doing here? I was about to show our new plan for what? I was just getting the keys. Ah, well, I moved them. All you have to do is ask. Accio Keys. Wow. Sleepy cold train. Best cottages, new and used. Flourish and plots. guys so we made it into the leaky cauldron and we ordered of course the classic fish and chips we'll let you guys know how they are they look delicious though <laughs> wow well, the hype is real these are absolutely delicious <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna try the butter beer ice cream and back in Diagon Alley We're heading out for today, guys. We may come back and we may stop in for Haggard's at night, but we'll see. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. Yeah, we had a great day here at Universal Orlando. Um, it was definitely a Wizarding World day. It was, and to be honest, I like Universal better. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot more relaxing than Disney. You could just take it in. We were here for six and a half hours. Yes, and we got on four rides. Yep. We stopped at Leaky Cauldron, had a snack, and we also grabbed a butter beer. Yep. And I have to say, it's it's amazing. It's really underrated. Oh I yeah. I feel like Universal was kind of the trendsetter, and Disney is just slowly trying to catch up. Like the Escape from Green Gods ride is very similar to what is coming out. Uh, this For month, Guardians, later yeah. this month, which is Guardians. Yeah. Um, I feel like Universal is not getting the credit it deserves. The theming is significantly better mm -hmm. um, and it's much more immersive. So I had an amazing birthday. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Of course. Yeah, it's been an amazing day here at Universal Orlando. We love it here. We'll definitely have a lot of future vlogs here in the future. Now that we're Universal Annual Pass holders. <laughs> So thanks for joining us today, guys. Um, of course, because it's universal, we couldn't get as many of the rides as we usually like to get. And it's also Brittany's birthday, so we really just wanted to take it in today. Yeah. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. This vlog has been filmed in front of a live crowd at Universal Studios, Florida. <laughs>